hello students welcome back to uh, online classes of the nuclear fission lecture number 4 in this lecture uh, we are going to discuss one more important point in your syllabus that is barrier penetration barrier penetration and uh, we know the simple meaning of barrier barrier means belly athwa innu on simple da helbekandra gate andanga hoda or it is nothing but gate penetration means pass through it pass through it on the belly and pass mode the car at a gate and open modular the other than the pass I hold the car barrier penetration and character you do how it will helps or how it relates to nuclear fusion it is a very important thing initially scientist uh, believed that there is no nuclear fission reaction fission reaction it is not possible uh, heavy nuclei cannot split and uh, it form into two smaller nuclei it is not possible initially they think that uh, in a, around 1600 but uh, after the one important discovery in nuclear physics that is uh, Gamow's theory of alpha decay that is how alpha decay is occurs explained by the scientist uh, Gamow uh, that is Gamow's theory of alpha decay that is mainly based on tunneling effect or barrier penetration uh, here uh, we before going to barrier penetration we define one more term that is tunneling effect tunneling effect or barrier penetration penetration in case of alpha decay we know that uh, I write one alpha decay process that is uh, radium 88 uh, around something uh, is formed alpha decay is occurs in radium it will form radium 86 plus helium 24 in this process this alpha decay this is alpha particle this alpha decay is possible by tunneling effect tunneling effect means tunneling effect tunneling tunneling means the alpha particle is come out of from the nucleus without passing through the or without passing through the potential height and it just simply cross the potential that is called as tunneling I just simply show the diagram of this here in alpha decay what happens here we have plot the graph in a nucleus we consider a nucleus here in a nucleus we have uh, number of protons and number of neutrons okay it is a heavy nuclei for example it is a radium 88 in that a uh, large number of protons and neutrons are there due to that 
a helium is also present in that okay helium means uh, 2he4 okay that is come out from this nucleus with the by just crossing the potential barrier by crossing the potential barrier this effect is called as tunneling effect how it uh, occurs i just simply show here this is the nucleus inner side of the nucleus or this is attractive region attractive region and uh, this is the height of the potential barrier this is height is very high this is height of the potential barrier and uh, after this we have this is a repulsive region region here repulsion is by coulomb repulsion and uh, this attraction is by strong nuclear force strong nuclear force okay this is very important to know the how alpha decay is occurs then only we simply understand how the nuclear fusion reaction is occurs okay simply this is the nucleus this is the nucleus inside the nucleus neutrons and protons are held by a strong nuclear force when we apply some force or just some imbalance is created inside the nucleus what happens the helium particle start moving from the nucleus they try to come out of the nucleus it is not possible to the alpha particle to move in this path that is alpha particle cannot move in this path okay it is not possible why because the height of the potential barrier or simply the height of that barrier or bailey now when gate and theta do already a gate the height that height is very 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 high due to that reason this alpha particle cannot move in this region or in this path it simply it simply just cross the barrier in this region only that alpha particle cross the barrier just pass the barrier this effect is called as tunneling effect and alpha decay is occurs that is simply a radium cannot reach the maximum position and come out just it cross the barrier and come out this is how alpha decay is occurs okay this is how alpha decay occurs in the same way in the same way nuclear fusion takes place that is very important how nuclear fusion is takes place simply a nuclear fusion reaction is also barrier penetration is takes place that is initially we consider uranium 92 235 okay this uranium 92 235 nucleus is in attractive region that is this nucleus the number of protons and neutrons are held together inside the uh, uranium 92 235 nucleus neutrons and protons are held together by a strong nuclear force they are in attractive region okay they are in attractive region when it is when it is bombarded with neutron when it is bombarded with neutron in a attractive region or in a nucleus of uranium 92 235 some imbalance energy is created due to that due to that what happens some instability is created in in this region some instability is created due to that instability this uranium nucleus is form uranium 92 236 and it is in a compound nucleus state and it is a very less stable it is not stable for that reason just it cross the barrier just it cross the barrier and come out and it form a two lighter nuclei that is barium 56 plus krypton 36 in this way 
nuclear fission reaction is takes place by barrier penetration process okay thank you